Hi, my name is Jerry Pinckney, and I make pictures for children's books. You might know some of my characters like John Henry from The Legend of John Henry, or maybe Noah in Noah's Ark. And how about the lion from one of Aesop's fables, The Lion and the Mouse? I also illustrated a book called A Place to Land. Barry Wittenstein wrote the words and the story is about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's who I'd like to talk to you about today. Tell us about your character. I bet you've heard about him before, right? In January, we all celebrated his birthday, which is a national holiday. Maybe you've even heard his most famous speech, which he gave during the March on Washington in August 1963, long before you were born. In that speech, Dr. King said, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That was his dream, and it has been my dream too. I have taught my children grandchildren and great-grandchildren to live by what Dr. Martin Luther King talked about. And that is also why I make all different kinds of books for all children, for all people. What made you want to become a creator of books? I've been making books for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I have illustrated over 100 titles. But when I make my pictures, I still have to work very hard, doing some drawings over and over to get them just right. When I was young, I loved to draw. And in the beginning, I didn't always think my drawings were very good. But I kept trying. And guess what? The more I drew, the better the drawings turned out. Seeing Martin Luther King work so hard in the struggle for civil rights inspired me. He never gave up. And I learned that you just have to keep trying, even when things feel difficult. You know, Dr. King had to work hard at his speeches too. He was a preacher and a great storyteller and he made people feel that what he was saying was important to make everyone's life a little better. And though he was well known for his gift of giving great speeches, he still had to write his words over and over again until he got his sentences the way he wanted them. The harder you have to work, the more rewarding it can be when you finish. Because of the power of his actions and his words, Martin Luther King still has an impact on us all these years later. Dr. King loved his family, and he thought of all people as part of the human family. He wanted us all to love one another, no matter how different we are. I have a question for you. When you meet a new classmate, or see someone on the playground for the first time, how do you welcome them? What Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would do is smile, then reach out to shake their hand. I do my best to be like Dr. King and treat all people I meet with respect and kindness. It makes me feel good, and I think it makes others feel good too. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? If I found a whale in my bathtub, well, I'm actually working on a book project now that deals with and centers around undersea life. So I would pause, perhaps go get my sketchbook, come back and ask the whale to pose. And then, after that, I think I might make a beeline for the door.